I have wanted this figure for so long. You have no idea. And it's here. I cannot believe it's here. I gave up hope a while ago because I thought that there was like some legal thing of him not being able to like uh, get a toy, but it is spectacular. Tarn was actually one of the reasons I got back in the Transformers five or so years ago because of his awesome design and character. And I've also been infatuated by the third party offerings a lot with this guy because there are a lot that being official and otherwise. But I am finally happy to have and see one be available at mass retail. And I'm so glad he isn't just G1ified and look exactly like he did in the IDW comics. This whole figure really is a love letter to IDW and it shows. Every detail on him is spot on. They took no sacrifices at all when making his toy. The head sculpt is immaculate and I maybe wish it was removable, the mask, but oh well. I, I think that may have been um, too much anyway. And as much as I want to congratulate him on having light piping, it doesn't really work that well. You have to be either directly on it or be very far away. But hey, I guess that means it looks good both with or without his eyes lit up, so at least there's that. He has opening hands too, which is very nice to see. It seems like you get that with all of cool characters now, or at least the ones that don't really have an alt mode for some reason. And surprisingly, he actually looks very good with Starscream's cape. I like to imagine him as Super Tarn. He doesn't fight the fascist state, he creates them. Sorry. Um, I also did try to recreate some shots from the comic book, and I'll play a little clip show of that for you now. As for accessories, he comes with a double fusion cannon that has probably the better light piping. So it makes it look super cool when you put light around it, next to it. I I don't know where the light would go. The gun can come apart and become like a Voss-esque sniper for him to use. Or you can attach it onto his back, which I actually don't mind the look of. I actually like that look a lot. But I gotta say this now, I gotta get this off my chest. I don't even know how this happened, but I think I may be romantically attracted to this figure. Maybe it's the thighs, maybe it's the sass, I don't know, but every time I look at Tarn, I get a weird neuron activation. I wasn't kidding when I said he was sexy. I meant it. To his body, I mean, not the character. He's the ultimate I can fix him. Articulation's phenomenal, and you can get him into several amazing poses like the aforementioned sexy poses. <laughs> he has um, double jointed knees, which is always nice to see. Did that just rhyme? I think it just rhymed. He can look very far up as well. Tank mode is eh? I mean, okay. I don't think this is a controversial opinion at all, unlike what I said like a few minutes ago. I don't think a lot of people like Tarn's tank mode in general. It's not very good. It just kind of looks like a mess of parts, but thankfully not the Michael Bay kind of mess of parts, just kind of looks cobbled together. But honestly, I think that's fine because if it means the robot mode is as good as it is, then I think that is well worth the tank mode. And if you wanna get real technical about it, it is accurate to the comic book. So if, if anything, it's accurate to a fault. The transformation itself, I find um, pretty fun. For like a character associated with constant transformation, it kind of feels like you can shift between modes very easily. 
I kind of like how you, how you have to stop doing stuff, then go do other stuff in the transformation, then then come back to the previous. So it's kind of like a momentum. But I mean, yeah, there's there's not much to say on tank mode except for probably the visible hands. Um, that's kind of unfortunate, but you know, it, I mean, it's it's fine. Just just insert Cybertronian alt mode argument here, I guess. <laughs> And look, you're not gonna display them in tank mode anyway, because the robot mode is excellent. So overall, Tarn is amazing. And I know that a lot of people, myself included, have wanted a Tarn figure in Generation for so long. And it's so satisfying to see and hold as well. He's very satisfying to hold. And even when I'm holding him in my hand, it sort of feels like, is this real? Because this is like a dream come true. And I think technically, if you want to, you can army build him because he was sort of like a drone in Cyberverse. So if you wanna like army build Tarns, I think that could look pretty cool actually. And I've heard rumors and such that he may be retooled into Bludgeon, which I'm sort of a fan of. I do like the IDW design for Bludgeon though. That's a very good design. And I would maybe want to see, I, I don't remember what it's called exactly, but it's like the Autobot version of him where it's like the orange and the Autobot mask. I think that could look pretty cool on him. Or maybe like a Shattered Glass. That could be interesting, right? Either way, the more of Tarn, the merrier, right? So I highly recommend you get Tarn. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think I'm going to do a bi-weekly sort of upload schedule for at least the next month because um, college work is really starting to um, ramp up now and I need to get stuff done. So I'm going to be uploading less frequently for about a month, but then as soon as summer hits, we're going to go right off the handle where we're going to hit content much more often. Follow me on my social media and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. So anyways, have you seen the new Mario movie? Oh my god, I love the Bowser song so much. Peaches, 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 peaches. Oh my god, it was such a fun time. We should go sometime, you know. I got some free tickets from a friend. Please, 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 please. Enough. <clears throat> what good is it if I can talk people to death? If I can't stand to be in the same room as you? I can stop talking if you like. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. There's no spark in it anymore. You're free to go. Yippee! <sighs> Maybe I should have become an Autobot too. <laughs>